Good Saturday evening to Northern Michigan. We do have some light snow showers across the area right now. Really just flurries. That'll be the case as we head overnight tonight. The cause of it, we have a low pressure up hiding right underneath the banner here off to the north of us in Canada. And then this cold front is draped down right through the eastern UP, just off to the west of Lake Michigan here back through Wisconsin. This is starting to edge its way through. Now it will kind of pause at cutting the lower peninsula in half, hang out for a little while until low pressure makes its way right up along it out of the plains here. So we are going to keep some snow in the forecast. And then as the system finally pushes eastward, we are going to see much, much cooler weather behind it. So here's a look at Stormcast and get an idea of the timing. Now as we head overnight tonight, really just some clouds in store for us, a few flurries here and there, mainly up along the parts of the eastern UP, right along Lake Superior. If anything, looking to pick up around half an inch to an inch or so. Really not a whole lot to worry about. Now the worry for tonight though is some icy roads. So if you are headed out tonight into your morning tomorrow despite us just seeing some clouds throughout mid-morning. Just be careful. Could be some very icy road conditions out there. Now around lunchtime tomorrow, we start to see the slow pressure edge towards us. So the central lower starts to see the first rounds of snow in the forecast for it tomorrow afternoon. And then that low pressure continues to push right up along that cold front here. And so we start to see the lower peninsula. Almost everybody in the LP seeing some snow showers by dinner time tomorrow. Now that system will continue to push towards the east here, even by late night hours tonight though even though some of us in the eastern UP still getting a little bit of a break the majority of the lower peninsula still seeing some snow showers fall and that will continue as we head into Monday morning in particular for lake effect locations now although we're not expecting a whole lot of snow mainly the southernmost counties parts of the central low we're looking at about three to six inches with this system elsewhere less than that we're looking at around one to three for most of us the issue is going to be the wind. In fact, wind chills starting Sunday night through Monday morning and then throughout Tuesday into Tuesday afternoon and evening, we're looking at wind chills negative 20 to negative 40. So definitely bundle up. That can uh, cause frostbite in about 5 to 15 minutes for exposed skin. Now as we head into Monday morning, winds will be mainly out of the north. Now these faint lines here, these are pressure lines. Now you can see they're pretty close together. It's going to be very windy again. High wind chills, lake effect for winds out of the north. But as we head throughout the day on Monday, those start to shift a little bit. You can see they start to become a little bit more northwesterly and that'll be the case of our winds. So by dinner time Monday, we're looking at more lake effect locations for winds out of the northwest here. So parts of the eastern UP and then along the Lake Michigan inside heading towards inland areas. We'll see lake effect snow continues. We had overnight into Tuesday morning. That's going to be the case throughout the day on Tuesday as well. Here's a look at those snowfall totals. So here's where we are tonight again through tomorrow morning. Not a whole lot to worry about. If anything, less than an inch, most seeing less than that. The real snow is going to start starting for the southernmost county. So here we go throughout the day on Sunday. By dinner time Sunday, we're looking at a little bit more accumulations to the south of us. You can see headed down towards the thumb, looking at about six inches. Elsewhere though, for us, around one to three or so. Monday morning, we start to see that system has pushed on through, so we're starting to see those totals add up looking at three, four, five inches for a lot of us, less than that in the UP. And then by the time that we're headed home from work after school activities on Monday, looking to tack on a little bit more for those lake effect locations. And that'll be the case heading into Tuesday also. Here's your seven day forecast, very cold. Again, definitely bundle up those wind chills really start to kick in. Very cold weather starting Sunday night throughout the entire day on Monday. If you don't have anywhere to go on Monday, just stay at home, stay in that warmth. And then heading into Tuesday, cold weather does continue until we start to warm up a little bit. Starting on Wednesday, we're going to see temperatures back up in the teens, some 20s, and even looking to hit around 30 degrees as we head into next weekend. Thanks for clicking at upnorthlive.com.